Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. All right. So the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Libra, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the next one here, which represents the challenges that uh, you will have to overcome throughout the week. We do have the Queen of Cups. Then the third one stands as a um, positive aspect of the week for you. That is going to be the Hermit. And the last one here, which stands for the guidance that uh, Taro is offering, uh, that will be the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so quite interesting one. All right, so um, Six of Pentacles in your case is going to be catalyzed here by the Ten of Pentacles. And so this week is going to be all about going out of a dependency, all right? As you depend on someone, and that relates to the challenge here that we do have. You are going to go out of uh, this dependency. For reason being, it is that um, you alone are going to understand, I would say, that that thing serves no favor whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, the life probably it's easier in you in this dependency. But ultimately, it does not, how can I say it, it does not give you the growth you, you you want or you deserve or you require. No different than, uh, for example, having someone to help you and their help does not really resolve the issues. It just, you know, postpone those issues while ultimately at the end, you will have to attend to those issues or to those situations. Issue is not, issue is not the right word that I should use here, but situations because only you uh, can uh, can resolve the matter, only you can settle the score here. So those two cards are saying that thing. That this week, finally, um, you're going to grab the things within your hands and um, based on your own personal performance, uh, you will be able to make a significant progress. Another thing from these cards, it is uh, that... Uh, the aspects of your life are going to fall into a certain motion, okay? And that is going to be a natural motion. For the reason being, it is that the hierarchy is going to be put into bear. And uh, that being said, everybody is going to take their place. So that, that includes you uh, as well. And uh, to be honest with those cards, it looks like that you're going to be quite pleased uh, with the place that you're going to find yourself at taking, all right? And uh, finally, those two cards may show that there are going to be reappearance of someone from your past, but it's going to take a, a, at least for the time being, for, for this week, it's going to take a, a insignificant role in there, because before that, you have to 
again, you know, uh, take on your own private and personal things on your own instead of, you know, trying to see if someone is going to help you or the help of someone is going to help you to resolve the issues, right? So the other card here points to the challenge. And as we as we are talking about help, that is a, a particular person who thinks that they are helping you, but in reality, uh, they are not, all right? And the challenge here, it is to let go of this one, not physically, all right? But just to try to explain them that by doing so, they are not doing you a favor. In our country, we are saying that this is a, a bare favor, or yeah, it's, or a, a, um, Ursa, you said Ursa, so or, Urso fair, uh, favor, okay, Urso favor. I don't know. So it, it pretty much it is a favor that actually at the end of the day does not help you in any way. It is just, you know, delays the things. Now it's that why this is going to be difficult because according to those cards, uh, that person, uh, it's ready to sacrifice a lot for you. I mean, they, they're kind of uh, like um, having you as an, an emotional twin, if you will. So if that's a twin flame, then let it be twin flame. Twin flames doesn't mean, you know, lovers. They could be friends. It's just, uh, the, the, the point is that this person is very much connected emotionally, which in other words, they love you. It could be just, you know, friendship love. It could be the love in between mother and a daughter, for example. And uh, they kind of like hate to see you suffer. They, they, hate to, they hate to see you struggle, right? And that is the reason why they prefer themselves to suffer and struggle instead of you and for that reason they're trying to help you but once again their help does not really help you in any way so um another thing about this one it is that they are always around you what i mean is that you can really always count on them but not for not throughout this particular week a a person of high personal integrity a a person who can keep on privacy, all right? So whatever you share with them as an, an information, you know, or as a state that you are in, they will not going to divulge it into anybody else. Now with the seven of wands, uh, this refers to the sacrifice that they're willing to go. So they're willing to sacrifice their personal positions, belongings, you know, and even uh, they don't care what the rest are talking about you too, all right? They just want to help you. And uh, the challenge here, once again, is going to be you revoking uh, this um, or reposing this uh, attempt of a uh, of a help. So the positive aspects of your week Libra that is going to be the Hermit accompanied here with the King of Swords. So we do have a passive enemies. Uh, it's about resignation it's about being humble really so it's it's like facing the circumstances without complaining and facing the circumstances without thinking that you can trick the fate that you can trick the universe in any way now instead what happens here on a positive aspect it is that you are to attend to those circumstances with the um it's always when we do have the hermit it's always about intelligence and wisdom right so with those kind of a properties you are going to um attend to the to the matters um having the full picture in front of you. There is nothing more to be analyzed. There is nothing more to deliberate. I mean, pretty much you are going to know what you have to do in order to uh, start a moving toward a substantial direction of yourself or toward a substantial goal. And it doesn't look like that you are going to be afraid. So it's about a being humble in regards to the circumstances. Humbleness, it is going to be the blessing for you throughout this week. Resignation of that it is what it is, you know, and moving on forward is only going to bring you substantial benefits or rather like a, a substantial goal for yourself with those two cards. <clears throat> so the point here is that throughout this week, once you let go of this uh, nurturing support, that at that point is only, you know, putting certain boundaries for you, you are to identify what's shines for you out there in the darkness, if that makes sense, okay? You are going to find your light that shines for you at the end of the tunnel. And therefore, 
you are going to start going toward this life, which could a uh, light, excuse me, which could be um, progress into your career, you know, progress into relationship, or why not a new job, or why not a new relationship? But you gotta do it on your own once again. It's just it's just how it goes because your emotion is your emotion, your current is your current, and you have to follow your current instead of kind of like trying to follow it with someone else because it is not their current, it is your current, okay? So the last card here, uh, it does point to the guidance that Tarot has for you and we do have the Five of Pentacles uh, and it's going to be catalyzed with uh, the Justice card. So we do have a passive um, enemies here and um, well, basically what those two cards are pointing, it is that throughout this week, it seems that things you thought are very unstable, things that, that you are, that are bringing insecurity in your life, you can, you can really, really set in order. But in order to do so, you need to approach those kind of fields that making you feel insecure, either relationship-wise, you know, career, or maybe both, with an astute discernment of what it is needed to be done. It's once again, we're coming to that what is needed to be done, all right? And uh, as you approach those situation, situations, excuse me, you have to act accountably toward yourself first and foremost, and then toward the situation because um, these two cards are pointing guidance-wise that justice has to be served. And you have to serve your justice. I mean, you need to be just toward yourself. And as you are just toward yourself, then you are going to be just toward the um, the situation as well. That because it's it it is a balance. But definitely, it looks like that you are going to reprioritize certain things with those two cards, all right? Or at least a certain um, how can I say it? Um, let's say redefine certain strategies that are going to make you feel much more confident or be much more confident and as well much more brave when it comes to tackling with an, an issues or a, um, a situations that making you feel insecure. And that is kind of like understandable because when you let go of a help that have been held in your hand up until this moment, it is uh, kind of normal to feel insecure. It is like a, uh, um, a baby, you know, when the baby starts walking, when it makes the first steps, it holds the parent's hand, you know, but when it let go, it kind of feels insecure and uh, tries to reach for the ground to, to have a, um, a support. And this is how you reach your grounds. It's just redefine strategies. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading, November uh, 25th to December 1st, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.